with two class about enzyme inducers and enzyme inhibitors. These are for the second year and for the nursing students. So I've promised the second year this video a long time ago. Seeing you guys struggle to understand it. Let's start with what is this enzyme I'm talking about. So I'm talking about cytochrome. So for nursing sake, you just remember it as SIP. For pharmacy sake, remember that SIP450. And then the further you go, the more you realize there are a lot of the more we'll tell you about the different kinds of cytochrome enzymes because there are many ISO enzymes. For example, 3A4 EDC for today's lecture of just understanding it. So you don't have to know it for now. But just understand the cytochrome enzyme inhibition and induction. That's the important part of the day. So remember in class I was speaking of uh, biotransformation of molecules, so biotransformation of drugs um, is the same thing as met metabolism, that's what I mean by biotransformation. You have to understand that the cytochrome P450 enzyme, cytochrome enzyme, is used to deactivate or metabolize a lot of drugs. So if we have more of this enzyme, we'll have a faster rate. If we have less of this enzyme, we'll have a slower rate of metabolism. That's in essence what's going on here. So the example we used in class was cyclosporin and the cytochrome enzyme induction inhibition. So I want to give you just a quick idea of what I mean. So let's say this is our normal functioning liver enzymes. We've got about so many. So if we induce, for example, so over here we are inducing cytochrome enzymes. So more to understand. If we have more cytochrome P450 enzymes, we will have less drug. Okay? And the opposite is also true. If so this, is, this is in the case of induction. So if we use something like uh, carbamazepine, uh, the example in the class was Rifampicin uh, and there's a lot of other ones. Oh, St. John Ward was also one. St. John's Ward. All of these will cause us, our bodies to make more cytochrome enzyme. If we make more enzyme, we will have less drug. Of course, the drug's metabolism will be increased faster. Okay, so now I just want to show you the opposite end of the spectrum. If we have, they always think of this thing as a, like a pivot. Think of it as a as a little seesaw. If we have then, the opposite is true, actually I should just do this. Let's say sip enzyme, so this is the amount, and this side we say drug. Okay. If we make sip enzyme less, we'll make the drug more. Baboof, down. So then we have more drug and we have less sip. So this is a good thing in a lot of cases, but it's also a bad thing. So in the case of cyclosporins, for example, so this will happen, for example, I just want to say uh, induce so you guys will don't get confused in the size inhibitor. This will be for example semetidine. Uh, I can't think of other ones now. Okay. So let's say this was cyclosporin. Uh, we make this cyclosporin. Okay. If we inhibited cyclosporin by using semetidine at the same time, we would have more drug. One of the toxicities of cyclosporin is for example nephrotoxicity. So then we'll get nephrotoxicity. This is so this is a drug interaction, but the drug interaction is that the cytochrome enzyme not being enough to metabolize cyclosporin fast enough, and then we get too much cyclosporin in the blood. If we get too much cyclosporin in the blood, we get nephrotoxicity. Nephrotoxicity damage of the kidneys. Very plain, very layman's terms. So on the other other end of the spectrum, if we had not enough site, if we had oh, if we had too much site and we had too little drug, the drug will not be effective. So then the drug will be sub-therapeutic. Remember, a drug needs to be in a certain uh, blood concentration, or certain concentration inside the tissue to be effective. If it goes lower than that concentration, then what's the point of taking the drug? It be of this like taking nothing. Uh, so if it's cyclosporin, for example, cyclosporin is used for organ transplants. So if you don't have enough cyclosporin, you won't be able to suppress your immune system. If you don't suppress your immune system well enough, what do you get? It's immune system reactivation or the ejection. So in both cases you want to stay where you want to be in a normal situation. So you don't want to take any enzyme inhibitors, you don't want to take any enzyme inducers. Both of those can cause you to go either side of the spectrum and boop. I hope this makes sense. I had one more example I want to use. So the other example I wanted to use was retinover, lupinover. Let me just organize my mind at the same time. Uh, okay, so let's go 
So this is now more on the current happenings. Okay. So another example that's going on at the moment is what well, moment's going to be for a while is the Fampersen. The Fampersen uh return over and looping over. Okay. Okay. So what I want you to understand is um, return over and looping over are both used in HRV, uh, both operators inhibitors, but they are only combined because we want return over to inhibit cytochrome enzyme. We want to inhibit the cytochrome people 50 enzyme, giving us this. Oh well, my my construction thingy broke. Okay. Think about this. So we use the turnover and looping over combination because we want to inhibit the cytochrome enzyme responsible for breaking down looping over. So we make it more looping over. Uh, I can't remember exactly the reason. I think it's because of expenses. It looping over is very expensive to make. That's why we do it this way. Just watch out where that stays in the bookshelf. Anyway, if we have more looping over, oh, this is the idea. We want to inhibit cytochrome P450 on on purpose so we can get more looping over. That's why the drug is formulated with these two together. So now, um, this is now a new thing that's not in chosen, or new 2010 that's under. If you combine the turnover and uh, if you combine the turnover of the and the person is taking the time at the same time, so for example in TV, then you get a different problem. So you disrupt this balance again. So this is the balance you wanted initially, so you can get more lupinavir. Less cytochrome and more lupinavir. This is what you wanted. But now, if you add the fantasy, the fantasy increases these levels. And then lupinavir will decrease. So to counteract this, we don't give more lupinavir, we can give more retonavir. And by doubling up the amount of retonavir, we can then inhibit the enzyme again, so we can get to our, our original ratio we wanted. So more lupinavir by giving more retonavir, so retonavir will decrease this. Let's, let's give you an example like this. Let's say that antigen gives you an up, and the pinnacle gives you a down. So the fantasy is a bit more powerful. So it requires more enzyme induction than the pinnacle can handle. But then if we double up the no, return of it. Return and refa. So if we double up the return of it, we give more return of it, we can shift it slightly that way. Let's say, for example, there was never any return of it in the ratio. We just had a thin fantasy inducing the enzyme. We would get something like this. So we would have way too little lupinavir running around. Way too little. But now we add lupinavir at a normal ratio. In a normal ratio, so it was about a 4 to 1 ratio, 4 lupinavir uh, to 1 lupinavir. If we, if we did it in that normal ratio, it would have been something like that. Which is still self therapeutic. Let's imagine there's a self therapeutic line here. But now we give more the turn over. So we change this ratio to something like that. Then we can get more towards it. But now in children, they found that you actually have to give a lot more. You have to give a one to one ratio. That's something that will give you something like this. That's what uh, when you add the 10%, so the 10 just makes life much more difficult. Um, okay, so that's the idea of it. So if you have enzyme induces, in induces will give you more enzyme, more enzyme will give you less drug. Okay? And the opposite is also true. If you have less enzyme, less enzyme, you will have more drug. So it's a ratio that works opposite from each other. Make sense? I hope it makes sense.